Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to learn how to set up aggregated event measurement on MetaAds. What is aggregated event measurement? We all know that after their latest iOS 14 and 15 updates, MetaAds tracking was not super accurate. Aggregated event measurement is a way to make sure that the software prioritizes certain events and conversions, and therefore our tracking is as accurate as it can be. First of all, there are some prerequisites that you need to know. Prerequisite number one, you need to have the meta ads pixel installed on all your pages of your website. Prerequisite number two, you need to verify your domain on meta ads. If you don't know how to install the Meta Ads Pixel or verify your domain, there are videos in my channel that take you through these steps quickly and easily. Step number three, we need to already have events and custom conversions that we are tracking on Meta Ads. And again, we have a video for that that helps you to set up events and custom conversions in the channel. So these are the three prerequisites before we go into aggregated event measurement. Assuming that these three steps are in place, what you need to do is step number one, you need to go and visit your Facebook business manager. Step number two, you need to go to your events manager as usual. This is where all the tracking actually happens. Step number three, you need to go to your data sources. And when you go to your data sources and you select the right meta pixel to work on, so in my case, I'm going to use my pixel here, the XYZ lab pixel, then you're going to find a table here in the middle screen that shows you all the events that you are currently tracking. And it has this option that is called aggregated event measurement. So you are going to select aggregated event measurement. All you have to do in this case is you have to click on configure web events. You need to select the website that you want to work on. So aggregated event measurement is set up by domain. That's why you need to have a domain that is verified. So let's work with this domain, the xyzads.co. We're going to select the domain and we're going to click on manage events. Once we click on manage events, we're going to say edit. And we have eight events that we can prioritize. So you can see here, it says event slots, zero out of eight. So we're going to add events. How this works actually here is, we say to the system, to meta ads, which actions are of the highest priority. For example, we can come here and we can say, the action that is called complete registration is of highest priority to me. And then I'm going to click on add an event. And I'm going to say the action that is, let's say, add to cart is the second priority. And then I'm going to say the action that is, let's say, uh, view content is my third priority. So you are able to communicate eight events to the system on aggregated event measurement. And as you can see here, you can say to the system what is your highest priority and your lowest priority. So what this means is that events that are of highest priority, for these events, the system will try extra hard to give you correct tracking. You have a bandwidth of eight events per domain. So what you need to do is you need to think about what are the eight most important actions that I want people to take on my website. Once you set them up as events, you have your domain verified, you're going to come here, insert them and set them up in the system. And then you're going to say apply. You're going to click on apply and that's it. That's how you set up aggregated event measurement. It's super simple once you have all the prerequisites in place. The prerequisites one more time, is you need your meta ads pixel on all the pages of your website. You need to have events that are already set up 
and you also need your domain to be verified. We have videos for all these three uh, actions that you need to take. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. It helps us tremendously to create new content. Have a great day in every time zone and see you in the next video.